Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's Gospel, we have the beginning of chapter 5 from St. Matthew's Gospel. This is the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount, which goes from chapter 5 through chapter 7. And we should give extra special attention to the Beatitudes that our Lord teaches. One reason, last week we read from the book of Tobit, and we're paying attention to the words of the angel Raphael, right? There we have one of the unique instances in sacred scripture when we have an angel who is speaking, not only speaking, but giving a little discourse, instruction. So that grabs our attention. Well, here we need to remember that we have God himself, God incarnate, speaking to us, teaching us how to live in this world. We see how the Gospels are the heart of the Scriptures, of Revelation, right? Concerning the Old Testament and the New Testament, the Gospels are the heart, the core of that divine revelation. Well, the Sermon on the Mount is the heart of the Gospels, right? The core of the Gospels. And the Beatitudes are the summit, the core, the heart of the Sermon on the Mount. So we're really getting down to what is most important in sacred scripture. So we should give more time, more attention to read and meditate and really strive with all our might to put the Beatitudes into practice. It is the summit of the Christian life. They are considered to be the acts of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, when the gifts of the Holy Spirit are active in our life, that is sanctity. We've reached the summit, perfection of Christian life. And so these, if we can put them into practice, we have arrived. And it requires the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We do the best we can through a life of prayer, mortification, practicing the virtues, receiving the sacraments. But we need the help of the Holy Spirit to really put the Beatitudes into action. And so let's just consider the first, right? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Now we are blessed, those of us who have embraced the religious life and become friars, because that is the way of life which is most conducive to living out the Beatitudes. Listen to what St. Gregory Nazianzen says. He says, the riches of monks are in their poverty, their possessions in pilgrimage, their glory in contempt, their strength in weakness, their fruitfulness in celibacy, who have nothing in the world and who live above the world, who in the flesh live out of the flesh, who have the Lord for their portion, who on account of the kingdom labor in poverty, and on account of poverty, are kings. Those are the beautiful, inspiring words of St. Gregory Nazianzen, doctor of the church. And then we have the example of St. Simon Stylite, right? He was the one who lived his life upon a pillar. That is complete foolishness to the world. And yet, he lived in beatitude. St. Simon Stylite, he was a keeper of sheep, shepherd like so many saints. And when he heard these beatitudes of Christ read in the church, he straightaway left his sheep and entered a monastery. And then slowly but surely ascended his pillar and stood upon it day and night, eating little and becoming a wonder to the world all that he might attain to these beatitudes. The same Simon, the stylite, 
preach twice a day to the crowds who flocked to his pillar. And he said only these words, despise earthly things, love and desire only heavenly things, which alone will make you blessed. This is the eyewitness testimony of Theodoret, who writes the life of St. Simon the Stylite. So the Beatitudes, it sets the high bar for all of us, for every Christian. What we need to strive for day after day and pray to Our Lady, the Mediatrix of all graces and the Spouse of the Holy Spirit to help us arrive. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.